I was born in South Korea and was initially interested in joining beauty or management consulting industry after college. However, a chance to visit the less privileged and staying with them in Kazakhstan unexpectedly changed my life. Now, I'm a professor in SIEPS teaching marketing and consumer psychology. I'm enjoying my life here. My name is Hyunyoung Park, and this is my story. To be honest, professor had been one of the few occupations I had blacklisted as my unwanted future career till my early college years. But the change took place when I went on a volunteer work for the first time in 2002. A marketing professor invited students to join his volunteer work trip, which unexpectedly had an enormous impact on my life. And I ended up visiting the same rural city in the south of Kazakhstan seven years consecutively. I taught computer and English classes at a small sauna that was renovated to be a small classroom that could hold about 10 students. Turning on 10 computers together often left electricity power failure. These volunteer experiences opened the eyes of this extravagant girl to the plight of the less privileged and the poor. Since then, my passion for understanding people has been kindled. And this passion has become even greater than my interest in consulting industry and beauty industry. Finally, I decided to pursue PhD in marketing, especially in consumer psychology. As a professor at SIEFS, I have been conducting research on how people's emotions and motivations influence how they spend their money and time. In particular, how much they give their time and money to other people. But it was not easy for me to have even a cup of coffee with students when I first joined SEEPS. At the time, I always wore a full black suit to the office, even when I did not have any teaching schedule, because I was concerned that my less professional appearance might undermine how students perceive my expertise. I remember being extremely nervous to stand in a Colosseum style classroom and teach students from various fields in my first year at SEEPS. I could even feel my knees shaking, but thankfully the students embraced this young trembling professor with gracious hearts. They nurtured me as a professor. We learned and grew together. Last year, I had the honor of being named as one of the best world's 40 under 40 MBA professors. But I know it's the students who have helped me become the professor of who I am today. During my leisure time, I love to discover Chinese art in various forms. I enjoy visiting museums, galleries, and ancient houses to see sophisticated Chinese art skills that reflect rich history and culture of China. It's been 17 years I've been involved in charity projects in Kazakhstan. This year, once again, I'm returning. Throughout the years, I've received so much by giving just a little bit of what I had. For instance, I was blessed with role models and mentors who reshaped my life values and career goals. I also made friends who stayed by my side, cheering for me during my darkest and depressive years. A sentence from a movie called Before Sunset sometimes lingers in my mind. People who are most capable of making this world better usually do not have the ego and ambition to be a leader. Likewise, people who are the most happy might not be the ones who seek for their own happiness. They might be the ones who give their own, seeking happiness of others.